Hi, dear students. Most welcome to today's class. I hope all of you are doing well and be healthy. Do you know who loves their teachers? Who can answer me? I am sure that you all can answer this question. Who loves their teacher? The ones who study their lessons daily. And you are one of them. Okay, I have a question from you. Okay, did you do the problems that I have given for you related to absolute value? Yes, and I gave a score for you. Excellent, because you did well. And do you know that what do we start for today? What do we start for today? Power. Okay, today you will understand what is power and what are the properties of power. Let's start. Power, definition. At first, what does power mean? Writing the product of the same number. There are three numbers, the same number, five, five, five. They are in multiply, okay? Writing the product of the same number. Writing the product of the same numbers. In short form, in short form. If I write five, multiply five, multiply five, I'm getting tired. But if I write five to the power of three, that is very simple. Okay, what do you call three? We can write exponent or we can say exponent or index. What do you call five? We can say base. Okay, and five to the power of three means five is multiplied by itself how many times? Three times. How many times? Three times. Five multiply five, multiply five. Excellent. In general, if we have many numbers multiplied by itself, five multiply five, multiply five, multiply five, and many numbers. In general, a to the power of n is equal to a multiply a, multiply a, multiply a, how many times? n times. Excellent. You're doing well. And you're following me. There are some examples. Let's start. 15 to the power of 4. How we can write? 15 multiply 15, multiply 15, multiply 15. And if we have 6, multiply 6, multiply 6, multiply 6, multiply 6. How we can write in short form? 6 to the power of 5. It means 6 is multiplied by itself how many times? five times and the last one 12 to the power of one no problem if we write 12 to the power of one it means one time 12 is multiplied by itself 12 okay and uh, we are going to study a square of an integer a square of an integer what does a square means it means power two okay a square of an integer the square of any integer you know integer, negative number, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and uh, 1, 2, 3. These are integers. The square of any integers except 0 is positive. Why 0? Why except 0? Because 0 is not positive, not negative. Okay, examples. 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2 multiply 2. And what is the answer? 4. A square of any integer except 0 is positive. It means 2 to the power of 2 is, the answer is a positive number. If we have a negative number, minus 2 to the power of 2, because I told you the square of any integer except 0 is positive. Again, minus 2 to the power of 2 is positive number. Okay? And 0 to the power of 2 is 0. It is not positive and it is not negative. Cube of an integer. Cube it means power 3. Okay, examples. 
2 to the power of 3 is equal to 2 multiply 2 multiply 2. If we have a positive number to the power of 3, the answer is positive. If we have a negative number to the power of 3, the answer is negative. Okay? And uh, now I know that you understood the rules, the definition, and you can do the problems. Okay, dear students. Now, even an odd power of negative integers. Even an odd power of negative integer. What does even mean? Even it means two. What is next? Four, six, and so on. What does odd mean? One, three, five, and so on. Even an odd power of negative integers. It means that we have negative integers. Minus two is a negative integer. Minus two is a negative integer. If the power of negative integers are odd, it is odd, five is odd. The answer is always a negative number. If the power of a negative integer is even, the answer is always a positive integer. Minus two to the power of four, to the power of five, is equal to minus two to the power of five. Two to the power of five is two, multiple two, multiple two, multiple two, and multiple two. What is the answer of this? 32. So it is minus 32. It means the negative integer with odds power is a negative and minus 2 to the power of 4. It is equal to minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. What is the answer? 16. It means minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, 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 plus, or positive. Okay, properties of power. The first one. If the bases are equal and the powers are different, we take one base and we add powers. Example, 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the, 2 to the power of 4. From these two, we take only one and we add the power. Okay, 2 to the power of 3 plus 4 is 0. If it, they are in division, if they are in division with equal base and different power, we can write like this. Just there is a difference that this is the powers will be minus or subtract. In here we have addition, in here we have subtraction. N minus nine. For example, in here you see that the bases are equal, 12. But the powers are different, 15, seven. So we have to take one base and we subtract the power. If we have like this, m to the power of a into the power it means powers are equal but bases are different so we take only one power and we multiply these two okay example three to the power of two multiple two four to the power of two okay from these two we take only one from the power and we multiply three multiple four is how much is three multiple four twelve okay Property number four, m over n to the power of a, both of them are to the power of a. It means m is to the power of a and n is to the power of a. Remember, n is not equal to zero. Because if n is zero, this rational number will be undefined. Okay, two to the power of five and three to the power of five. It is very clear. So you multiply, you know simplifying of power. A to the power of n, whole to the power of n. It means m and n are multiplied by themselves. Okay, example, two to the power of three, uh, whole to the power of five. It means that you multiply three and five, and what is the answer? Two to the power of 15. If you have two numbers are multiplied by themselves and they have only one power, you can have a to the power of n and b to the power of n. It means that 2 multiple 5 whole to the power of what? 6. What is the answer? 2 to the power of 6 multiple 5 to the power of 6. And this, the other job is belongs to you. Okay, if we have a power 
which has a fraction. Now, we can write as a root. In the next classes, you will study about the root. a to the power of m over n. It means a is to the power of n under the root n. Or you can read nth root of a to the power of m. Example, 5 to the power of 5, 4 to the power of 5 over 6. It means the power of 4 is 5 and the root degree is 6. If we have a negative power, if we have a negative power, it will go to the denominator. What is the new? In here we have denominator 1, but it will go to denominator a to the power of n and uh, the negative will be positive. A, 2 to the power of minus 3 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Example. And the last one, if we have any number to the power of 0, except 0. 0 to the power of 0 is not clear. The answer is 1. And this is a proof of that. a to the power of n and a to the power of n. You can cancel 1. What is the answer? 1. Or you can use the rules a to the power of n minus n. What does n minus n means? 0. And uh, a to the power of 0 is 1 because I simplify. And the last one, remember this note too. And we will do a lot of problems related to power in the next session. Waiting for you. Best of luck. See you.